Now let's briefly look at the kinds of arguments that are given to justify religious belief. And if we have time in the course, we're going to see these discussed, um, given as good reasons, criticism of these reasons being given by various philosophers that we're going to be studying. Now with regard to theism, we have arguments going back to somebody told somebody that is there's some kind of religious experience might be a personal religious experience that you you actually had an encounter with God it could be based on the existence of the Bible that's one kind of argument that's given for the position that God exists then there was one that we had mentioned you know the cosmological argument that God has to be the first cause of everything in the universe and another one is the argument from design that the universe looks like it was designed there must be a designer so God was designer of the universe then there was the ontological argument that's the one is that the great that it's like a mathematical proof that there has to be a greatest possible being now those are kind of on the rational end there's also a pragmatic justification given uh, by a philosopher named Pascal and it's actually called Pascal's wager and he says look I can't rationally prove it but Believing in God is the best bet. It has the best results. On the flip side, the people who think God doesn't exist, the major argument they give is something known as the problem of evil. That is, that evil, that God can exist because there's just too much evil in this world for there to be a God. And people try to, theists try to respond with something that's called the free will defense. The idea is that the evil that's being talked about in the problem of evil is not incompatible with the existence of God because people have God has given people free will. And then for agnosticism, well, it's hard. There are really no proofs, but there's just not enough evidence to go either way. And maybe if you hold that position, you go back to something like Pascal's wager that you'll have a pat pragmatic justification or alternatively we hear people say that we I just have to accept my religious belief on faith which means I really don't have any reason for believing it